Good morning, good afternoon, good night. Whatever time you come in contact with this video, this is Angela here, and we are pushing into our 22 part, our 22 part of our prayer and the reading of Proverbs. So we're seeking the wisdom of God because we need that wisdom to help us along our journey of life, you know. Um, even as we are here this morning, we are pressing to reach the 45 days of reading of this book. We are reading for those that just um, for those that just coming in, for those that just getting to watch our, for those that are new to the channel, I just want to say welcome. Welcome to our new subscribers. Welcome to our longtime subscribers, that which I have called my family, you know, a family in Christ, you know, and we're standing, building on Christ because all other ground is sinking sand so we are building on Christ because without Christ in the vessel we cannot smile at the storm and there are many there are many storms that comes and it comes to and devour and to destroy with the with the wind that it comes with it only comes to devour and to destroy but when Christ is in the vessel we can smile at the storm because he knows how to come every storm and that's my word to someone for whatever season you're in and whatever you're going through this morning or afternoon or night you know just know that if you trust god you know if you trust him wholeheartedly and you lean on him and not on your own understanding you know no matter the storm that comes you know your way He's there to supply for all your needs according to his riches in glory. And um, sometimes when I go through the different storms of life, I thought the Holy Spirit will bring a certain scripture to me. And this morning, I want you to bear these upon the table of your heart that you're a royal priesthood and you're a holy nation. You're a peculiar you know, you're a peculiar, you're different. You know, some of, some of the time we want to blend in. We want to blend in with other persons because we don't want for them to feel bad and we don't like, you know, how, how they're getting upset because you're different from them. And so today I just want to encourage someone that feel cast aside because someone don't think that you're the same person how can you be walking with God and still be the same person? You were born in sin and in sin did your mother conceive you. In sin did your mother have you. A lot of us, we were born out of wedlock as well, you know. And so we were born in so many difficulties. And you decide to take on another journey, right? Once you decide to take on another journey and to follow Christ, there is no way you can be the same. And we are not, we are not to think that we are to change our own self. It's only God that changes us. And if you're walking with somebody and you and them used to do the same thing and God has changed you and the person is still doing the same thing and thinking that they thinking that they can change your own self. We cannot change ourselves. Only through God that we can be changed. Only God can change us. Sometimes we are addicted to certain things uh, that is of sin and only God can come in and cleanse us and wash us and make us whole. And this day, I just want to encourage someone that is on your journey and you feel alone and you feel abandoned because God has you in this process of change. Hold your head up high. Hold your head up high. On Christ the solid rock I stand. All other ground is sinking sand. And this morning, I just want to encourage you. Keep your eyes on the Lord. Repeat the words in your bathroom. Repeat the words at work. The words, the words of the Bible. Because it said, trust in the Lord with all of that heart. <clears throat> and lean not on thine own understanding in all that you do 
Acknowledge God and he shall direct your path. We are not going to please everyone. And sometimes you end up without family backing you. Sometimes you end up without friends that you normally walk with backing you. Because everybody thinks that you're strange. And this day, you need to be strange because the Bible said you're a royal priesthood and a holy nation. You're a peculiar, 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 peculiar individual. That means you're different. You're not in the norm. And God has not called you to be a part of the crowd. He has called you to stand out in promise. He has called you to stand out in purpose. He has called you from wherever you're buried and raised you from the debt of sin to stand up in righteousness and to exalt his holy name and to worship and to adore him. And so rest in the Lord. Be of good courage. And I say, may the abundant life rest upon you as long as you're willing to change and transform for the will and the purpose of God. Because we have our will and God has his will. And may your will be declined and God wills increase in your life. May the, the will of God increase, increase, increase in your life, in your situation, at work, everywhere you go. Because he is the author and the finisher. My God, we bless your holy name this morning. We're reading from Proverbs 15 and verse 17. We're picking up from yesterday. And it's just read, better is a dinner of herbs where love is and than a fatted calf with hatred. A wordful man stirs up strife, but he who is slow to anger allay, allays a contention. The way of the lazy man is like a hedge of thorns, but the way of the upright is, is a highway. A wise son makes a father glad, but a foolish man despises his mother. Folly is joy to him who is destitute, destitute of discernment. But a man of understanding walks uprightly without counsel, Plans go array, but in the multitude of counselors they are established. A man has joy by the answer of his mouth, and a word spoken is due season. In due season, how good it is. The way of life, the way of life wins upward for the wise, that he may turn away from hell below the lord will destroy the house of the proud but he will establish the boundary of the widow the thoughts of the wicked are an abomination to the lord but the words of the pure are pleasant he who is greedy for gain troubles his own house but he who hates brides will live the heart of the upright studies how to, to, how to anger, answer, but the mouth of the wicked pours forth evil. The Lord is far from the wicked, but he hears the prayer of the righteous. The light of the eyes rejoices the heart, and a good report makes the bones healthy. The ear that hears the rebukes of life will abide among the wise. 32. He who disdains instruction dis despises his own soul, but he who heeds rebuke gets understanding. 33. And last, the fear of the Lord is the instruction of wisdom and better honor is humility before honor is humility the fear of the lord is the instruction of wisdom and before honor is humility it pays for us to humble he that humbleth shall be exalted and he that exalted shall be abased that's the word of the god the, that's the word of the lord and i will just have this comment this morning People with tunnel, tunnel vision 
those are the lock those who are locked into one way of thinking are likely to miss the right road because they have closed their minds to any new options we need the help of those who can enlarge our vision and broaden our perspective see out seek out the advice of those who know you and have a wealth of experience build a network of counselors then be open to new ideas and be willing to weigh their 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 suggestions carefully your plans will be stronger and more likely to succeed the righteous weigh their answers the wicked don't think before speaking because they don't care about the effects of their words it is important to have something to say but it is equally important to say it well do you carefully plan your words or do you pour out your thoughts without concern for their impact here ended a portion of my comment father we exalt your holy name this morning we shabak you we give you all the glory all the honor and all the praise mighty god we tremble and humble before you this morning because you are the everlasting king the king of kings the lord of lord the conquering lion of the tribe of judah you're the god that shifts and break you're the God that elevates and you're a God, that mighty God. Every word that you've said, Lord God Almighty, it is coming to pass or some already come to pass. We pray that this morning we will not be ignorant, but God, we will seek knowledge and we will seek the wisdom of you, God, to guide over each and every steps and to help us along the way. We pray that you will touch our minds and heart this morning because, God, we cannot do without you. We need you every hour. We need you every second. We need you. Makoto Rabakushanda, Roboku Satoria, Shebo Shanda Labaha, Mokoto Rabakusende, Rema Sotoria. We need you, God. We need you. We cry out for you this day. We cry out because God Almighty, everything is sinking without you, mighty God. This earth, oh, Boshatari, mighty God, when you look at certain countries, earthquakes are moving in and taking down buildings that is so high, mighty God. 20 floor going down under the earth, Mighty God, open up our spiritual eyes this day. Open up our spiritual ears to hear, mighty God. Open up our understanding so that God Almighty, we can see and discern and to see the time and season that we are living in. And don't just say that it's the end time and God, we are not doing anything. We pray that you will shed us. Shed us of everything that will stand to be set us and standing and being easily beset by them in the name of Jesus. Shed us, O oh God, this day and help us, Lord, to lean on you and not on our own understanding. Flooding is in some places, taking away houses, O oh God, and taking away people. Father God, this morning, I pray. I pray for this world. I pray, mighty God, for this nation. And I pray, God, for our people that, God, you have called them to be watchmen and watchwomen in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We pray that, God, you will elevate. We pray that, God, you will shift this morning. We pray that, God Almighty, you will sustain and rejuvenate, oh God, touch our salvation and cover it this morning in the name of Jesus. Awake us from every sleepy slumber, mighty God. And help us, Lord, to lean on you and not on our own understanding. God, we thank you for another day to shine and to glorify you 
who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. God bless you. God keep you. God continue to shine his precious face upon you. See, feel, and seal the vision that God has given out to you. Don't give up. Don't give in. Keep going. Keep pressing no matter what. This is Angela. And uh, bye for now. <music>